Now it's three months since the UK left the EU's customs union and single market. And we are taking a look on BBC News today at how that is affecting different businesses. Well, joining me now is Matthew Hall, who owns Butler's Farmhouse Cheeses, which is based in Lancashire. Um, good afternoon to you, Matthew. Um, how, how have the last uh, three months been for you? What changes have you seen to your business? Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Yeah, the last three months have been very much like the, the nine months before it for ourselves in terms of it's a roller coaster and a, a seesaw all at once. So we're a we're a four, farmhouse maker in in rural Lancashire, as you say. So we maybe five percent of our our stock is exported abroad. So the the direct implications haven't had a massive impact to what we what we see and do on a day to day basis. But what we have seen is a is a dramatic change in the in the dynamics between ourselves and and the retailers, because there's there's undoubtedly been a supply challenge for many businesses importing food products to the UK and, and that's brought about an opportunity for farmhouse makers like ourselves who've got a, a product that's over 700 uh, farmhouse cheeses in the UK where we can fill that that void and, and provide a credible alternative. So the change has actually benefited your business? It, it's certainly going with a, a change in consumer trend absolutely for people to buy buy local. Product with purpose is a, is a big trend that we're seeing at, at the moment and I think the the changes we've seen with Brexit have, have played into that trend a little bit with people looking to try and get some security over supply. And there's there's no reason why uh, a brie, for example, has to be bought from France. There is a, a whole plethora of, of great soft cheeses made here in the UK. Mm. So we are we are seeing a, an opportunity to, to play into here. Yes, absolutely. You said when you started off that the last three months had been a roller coaster like the previous nine months. You make it sound as if COVID has also played its part. It, it has, absolutely. I think it's, it's really important for me at this moment to give a shout out to our people because it's been a, a massive year for us and our business is built on product and people. And the ability to adapt and to pivot over the last nine months has come about with lots of new products and innovations, things like uh, being able to get cheese directly from the farm to somebody's door with online shopping experiences now is a is a mega new trend and something that we've managed to pivot into in the last nine months and something that I would personally see here to stay as consumers are seeking out companies and businesses that share their ethics and their values. So that's so interesting. Actually, letterbox deliveries of cheeses. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we're we're kind of making it here on the farm. We're we're portioning it up. We're putting it in a a nice little, nice neat little box, and it's going straight through somebody's door. And the ability, as as retail becomes a little bit more mainstream, um, and consumers are looking for those special and different products, they're coming online. Uh, one of the big changes we've seen in, in consumerism, and the people looking for less of that over the last nine months, and products with with purposes, as, as I say, to then be able to go into food products. And we're seeing foods, things like cheese, being gifted a lot more. Yeah. So uh, clearly there have been changes in this last year. Do you foresee more changes down the line? I, I foresee where we are now being the new normal and things continuing to accelerate. So products where there's a, there's a purpose to them and there's an opportunity to create a, a whole eating occasion around them. So things like Black Six Blue burger slices, it takes your products into a brand new space. And I think consumers are looking to celebrate going forward with things that taste good because at the end of the day when when life's a little bit tough if you put something that tastes amazing in your mouth that's going to bring a smile to your face indeed it is very nice to talk to you thank you so much that's matthew hall uh, who owns butler's farmhouse cheeses in lancashire thank you for